Hey, what's up guys? This is Bobby W6 IWN and today we're here to talk about the TID Radio H3. It's the little brother to the H8. Uh, this is a multi-band receive and a multi-band transmit. Uh, it's labeled as a two-band from what I kind of read, but it does U220. I'm going to demonstrate that. It does listen to the airband. Uh, it does have USB-C charging. It also has a chip built into it that's normally in the programming cable, so you do not need a programming cable. Any USB-C will work. If you open the normal programming slide, you'll see there's an extra USB-C for programming. There's also the USB-C for charging on the bottom of the battery, which is really rad. Let's see, what other features do we got? We got the Bluetooth programming. So I'm gonna get into the app for that. There's an app called OD Master. Uh, you, this thing has Bluetooth. If you uh, hold the blue button there, a Bluetooth icon will come up and you can program it with a app from your phone. The app is free on the Google Store or the Apple Store, I don't know. Actually, yes, it is available on the Apple Store as well, it says here. All right, you can see I got the clear model here. It comes in three colors. Uh, this is the crystal or, or clear. Uh, it comes in a green color here uh, and the natural, the normal black color. All right, let's talk about the frequency range on this thing. So it is sold as a GMRS or ham radio. However, it will be unlocked, or it can be unlocked to do both modes, which I'll show. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show that in just a second. But uh, as it's marketed, it says receive 50 to 76 megahertz, 76 to 108, which is FM radio, 108 to 136. So there's your AM uh, airband right there. 136 to 174 transmit receive. There's your two meter. 174 to 350 receive. 350 to 400 receive. 400 to 470 transmit receive. 470 to 600 receive. However, I'll show you this thing does transmit on 220. There's also other modes for uh, different areas that not in America that you can transmit on too that you can unlock in here. So it's got 199 channels. Uh, you can program it obviously manually with their app. They provide for programming. Chirp works. You can use the OD Master on your phone. Uh, it's got two transmit buttons. This top button here is for your top channel transmit. The bottom button is for the bottom transmit and not trying to sell it. When I first got it, I actually hit this bottom button here, which turns on the LED light. And it is extremely bright. I had it pointed at my eyes. I was not uh, waiting for that. So, I mean, if you needed a flashlight on your radio, you never know. The H3 comes locked to GMRS or ham frequencies, whichever one you purchase. However, there is a way to unlock the radio for both modes. So what you want to do is hold the star key and the PTT while you turn it on and then boom, you get this message. It says one for ham, two for GMR, and three for normal. Uh, pick the appropriate one, three will be both modes. Okay, here's a side-by-side -side comparison with its big brother, the H8. Uh, the difference between the two is this guy here on the right is 10 watts and it's only uh, two meters and 70 centimeters transmit and receive, but it is true 10 watts. I tested it in another video. I'll put a link here if you wanna to watch all about that, but it also has the USB-C and uh, the Bluetooth programming, just like it's a, it's little brother down here. So if you go here into menu 50 to 200 TX and you select that and put it on, well now you have a tri-bander. It's only marketed as a, a two-bander, however, it does in here. Here's what it sounds like. Uh, this is hooked uh, to the local repeater that's on the East Coast reflector, by the way. Let's see if it's clear and we'll see if we can transmit. It's not too busy. W6IWN radio check testing new radio. Okay, I'll do a, a quick demonstration on the airband. 
However, I am inside a building right now. I'm sure a reception would be a lot better outside. And like I said, I'm inside. I'm sure this demo would work uh, a lot better outside. So I got my Surecom meter, uh, 50 watt dummy load back here, and uh, we'll give it a test. See how it does on the wattage. All right, let's give this a shot. We're on 14652 on high power. 4.16 it looks like I had there. Okay. Let's go over to 70 centimeters real quick. High power. 4.019. 146. Okay, 14652 on low power. Looks like we have 0.4 watts there. And by the way, this only has high or low settings. So let's go to 4460 on low power. Low power there, 0.4 watts as well. All right, let's jump right into how you program this thing with the Bluetooth app. Uh, there's an app, I'll put a link below in the description. It's called OD Master. Once you get that, uh, you just log in and create an account. Uh, go ahead and log in. Make sure you turn on your radio. Welcome. And you hold this blue button on the top for about, what was that, five seconds, three, five seconds. You'll see a Bluetooth icon show up. You go into the uh, app here, connect Bluetooth. And then it should show, it's labeled as kit under mine. Make sure that is turned on. Okay, now that is turned on, select the model. This is a TID radio, so you see other radios in here. Uh, they also sell a connector that you can plug into radios that don't have the USB if you just wanted to add that, and it plugs into the side. I like it. This radio has already got it built into it. So anyways, let's go to the TID radio. Oh, whoops, I messed that up. TID Radio H3 is the model I have. I picked the appropriate model for you. So read radio. Boom. You see the progress. You see the radio is starting. Wireless. Ooh, magic. Anyways, we'll let that do its thing. I already have this radio uh, programmed. I'm going to add a channel just to show you how easy it is because it's got this other cool feature where you can look up local repeaters. So boom, it pops up. Uh, what channel or what it shows you can edit everything just like chirp so it's showing you a lot of the information for channel one you also can go to function and you can mess with all the settings uh, in here as well and uh, control all that but I like this feature if you click on repeater list it's gonna list repeaters and it's gonna re uh, list them by distance from you so let me see if I can uh, find a local repeater here I want to use. Uh, so here's one uh, local one I already have. You can star them too. So I already have that as a favorite. So import too. So you just go through here and you check, pick a channel. I'm going to go all the way to channel 127 because I know that's an open channel. I'm just doing this for uh, testing purpose because I already have this programmed on another channel. So boom, confirm. Confirm. I'm in a little problem there with my thumb. Import. Write to radio. And then boom, you can see the progress bar. So I'll let that finish and I'll show you. It's programmed on channel 127 and we'll try that repeater and see if it works. And that's how easy it is to program it right from your phone, which I think is super cool. Especially if you're traveling in an area. I open, leave some channels open. So if I go to somewhere out of my out of my area, I just get on this app, and if I want to talk on that local repeater, I throw it in one of the the blank channels so I can use it while I'm in the area. All right, let's turn it on. Go to channel 127. Welcome. One, two, seven. Well, there it is. W7TA Pvine Peak. That's uh, right up the hill from me. Okay, it's on the bottom channel, so I'm gonna press the bottom one here. W6IWN, testing new radio programming. All right. Well, it works. Good afternoon, Eric. W7DLC. 
So right now, as the date of this video, the TID is H3 is on sale for $35.99 from TID Radio. I'm going to put an affiliate link below in the, the description. It really helps if you, you buy it. It helps support the channel. I get a small cut off the radio. Also, I can offer you a 10% discount code. I'll uh, post below. At the time of the video, it is good for 10% W6IWN radio. Also, that will work for the, the H8 as well, uh, and I have a video on that if you're interested to learn more about the H8. Once again, I'll try to post the, the link somewhere up here. Thanks for watching W6IWN73.